Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Cougars have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Texas, home of legendary Treaty Oak, plays host to this college football battle. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Bowling stats are doing all the talking right now. He's one of the nation's elite players. And Herbie, we watched him on film. His motor is always running. High energy, a lot of talking. More importantly, he really demonstrates some leadership out there, too. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He scrambled, and he's level at the 44-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun-shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Fires across the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 31. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Had his hands on it and dropped it. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. And this is the eighth play of the drive. taken down right around the eight yard line nice play there to pick up the first down he did a great job of getting up in the air ignoring the defenders and coming down with the ball right down around the six yard line fisher picks up only about two yards with that grab He 
scrambling. And he hits him hard at the six. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Sooners arrive at today's game ranked fifth in the nation. And for UTSA, they're in trouble, in danger of losing five straight. Oklahoma has the edge, 7 0. In other games, the Volunteers had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. And for Louisville, they've won two straight. And for Gates, he had a touchdown reception in this game. The Cardinals win it by three. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Cooper looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. The Longhorns and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. That makes it second and six. From their own 32-yard line, on, it's baby. second down. Let's see what you got. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. That time, the option play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping all over it. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From the 19-yard line, second down. Houston is up a score. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Anderson on the tackle. That, that's the Here we go, team. That'll bring up third and four. Mark 55, Mark 55. Run it, easy, easy, easy. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes, right around the six-yard line. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offense coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback leading the defense, and as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So a four-play, 18-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Here he goes. And they make the stop at the 36. The Longhorns have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets to about the 37-yard line. tries to buy some time dives for extra yardage it's a nice run here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down it's very important to maintain possession of that football and that's a nice conversion here on third down it's first and ten all on their own 40. up the middle for a nice game He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. The Cougars saw one of their key guys go down earlier. But looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Tackle at the 26. Call the game at 10 yards. That brings up second and one. And we've reached the end of one. 14 0, Houston. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled at the 30. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. There he goes. He's taken down around the 26-yard line, and the defense comes through. Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. The offense is going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. I got it. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, lucky. And they hit him in the backfield. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 32. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Slings it. He's tackled at the 38 yard line. Parker brings him down at the 38-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Makes the catch and look out. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Gaining 15 yards. First down.
from the 47 yard line. First down. Good tackle there in space. Sanders on the tackle at the 37 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gaining four yards. That makes it first and ten. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike 55. Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. He goes out of bounds at the 29. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Let's go, D. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 21. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 11. Vogel makes the tackle at the 11-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's scrambling. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. From the 10-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 E. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Touchdown, Houston. Decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Sooners sitting in the top five and hoping to move up. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Sooners relentless with their rushing attack and they score a touchdown. The Sooners are out front, 21 to seven. A three touchdown difference here, Reese, 21 to nothing. Cooper gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and Texas will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the 35. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 38. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 38. Just throws 
this one away. defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback not only with the sack in this case but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure making this quarterback feel him and almost giving him happy feet back there he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football feeling the, the pressure and almost creating the nerves on the quarterback he makes it to the 45 yard line Houston's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. And down he goes around the 41-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Throws it out there. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Fires it out. That's a great tackle at the one. Anderson makes the set up at the one yard Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And for Lee, he gets his second touchdown in the passing game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 55-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So our score... 28 nothing. Daniels from the two. He's taken down at the 47. Hamilton's character, I think, is really going to show in the third and fourth quarters. Right now, he's not having the kind of half that he wants. I'm sure the coaches are going to sit down with him at halftime and try to get him and his head back in the game. Well, there's still so much football to be played in this game. And, and when you're a, a big-time wide receiver, I mean, the, the complexion of a football game can change in one play, one series. So still an entire half to be played. I think right now he's got to make sure he keeps his head in the game, stays positive, and is there for his quarterback for the rest of this offense. And who knows how quickly he can get back involved in, in having an impact on the outcome. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second and six. Ball in the 34. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. This one's going deep to the end zone. Can't connect. Well, we've played a half of football. Houston's got a huge lead.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game looks like Blowout City. I don't think I'm crazy, David Pollock. I don't think it's taking up residence in Blowout City. I think it's just passing through and visiting. Uh, we might have a comeback in store in the second half. Well, I think you're crazy, and you need to go to the halfway house and visit and stay for a while because this game isn't going anywhere back the other direction. It's over. Put the women and children to bed. Go nope. find something else a little bit more entertaining. No. Nope. Open a bag of chips. You know, start another season of something else because this, nope. one's, this one's a wrap. There's going to be a comeback. So you're saying there's a chance. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Paula can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Reese, David, wish you were here instead of Kirk and I. We start the second half in this lopsided ball game. Daniels fields it at the three. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Green to the back, and he can't hold it. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. He's on the run. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. He's hit and taken down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. From their own 49 yard line. It's first down. He's going to try and scramble. About nine yards there on the quarterback scramble. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Just like that. Down, blue seven. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. No game. Third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. The senior makes the catch. And they make the stop right around the 30. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and six. And this play is number eight on the drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 18-yard line, first down. Half 
backs got it on the quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at the 18. That makes it second and 10. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Around the three yard line. That's good enough for another Texas. First down. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And he's tackled at the one-yard line. That's good for him. Two yards. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown, Longhorns. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he converts the extra point. A 12-play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 28-7. Campbell is lined up to kick this one off. Bowling fields it at the two. At the 30. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. Well, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Slings it. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Nice play, Parker him down at the 35-yard line. First down. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle. 55. Roger, Roger. Roger, 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 Roger. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 35-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down at the 23. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check right, check right. Check in. Patriot, Patriot. Check in. Back, 85. Throws complete. He's hammered. Summers on the tackle at the 18-yard line. That brings him second and five. Quad, quad, quad. Key 81, key 81. Let's go. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at about the 17-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. He 
he kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, across the 30, across midfield, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 33. Spence picks him up around seven yards with that catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. One more quarter to play. 31-7, Cougars. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He scrambled. Slides down. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From the 25-yard line, first down. And here's a quick throw. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it second and 10. Tackled for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come on, Mike, 48. Right now, let's go. Hey. Fires out to his receiver. Gets away from him. Touchdown. Every time he throws the ball in this guy's direction, something big seems to happen. I don't think you can find a quarterback in the country who wouldn't want a guy like this on his side. And they're looking to get two points here. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Caught it. And the conversion is good. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, the Wildcats come into this one ranked 13th. Back and forth, they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Wildcats have the lead, 3-0. Meanwhile, what is happening in Waco? The Cavaliers keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Pater. The Cavaliers lead 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Bowling Campbell system. looks ready to kick this one off. Lee takes it at the eight. And he's taken down at the 24. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is gonna create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really gotta step it up and make a stop. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at the 35. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. They come out on an empty backfield. Scrambling around. 
And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Fires incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. Green to punt. He drops it. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws and it's incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Third and 12. Ball on their own 37. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He's at the 30, makes it out to about the 26. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Houston already with a two-score lead, and they can add to it here with first and goal. And they make the stop at the five-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. Touchdown, Cougars. Well, that touchdown should just about ice this one. And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis.
the Wildcats took the field today ranked 13th, but wanting to prove they deserve a spot in the top 10. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Wildcats relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. And for Joseph, he scored a touchdown. The Wildcats are on top, 10-0, late in the first quarter. In other action, let's take a look at some action from Waco. We've been watching this thing all day long. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. Virginia has the edge, 10-7. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Cooper has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Houston's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively. What it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front. The veteran offensive line, see what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught, and that's a first down. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Five yard line, second down. Quick pass, and he shoved out of bounds around the 30 yard line. six got a man open touchdown so the offense is going to go for two play 75 yard drive but the failed two point conversion keeps it a six point score. Brad I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So the score now 38 21. Oh he got nailed on that one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. Under a minute left in the game. Gains his way to the 26 yard line. First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 38-21, Cougars. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.